hey everybody welcome back to my channel so um i'm doing this after i did the original video um so this is a story time i'm gonna click like crap some out because it was like super hyper off co coffee <laughs> so i'm gonna just redo this so um hey everybody welcome back to my channel um today is gonna be a story time of when i found out i was pregnant at 15 um so yeah uh please excuse my crying in this video i don't know why i'm so sensitive about it um but yeah so i cried a few times in the video and then i cried after watching it so yeah so if you guys want to keep watching seeing how i found out i was pregnant just keep watching um first i want to stop i'm like stopping super fast and say thank you to everyone i know i look hit i'm gonna get ready but i want to say thank you to everyone like all my family and friends and just anyone who's watching my videos because for me it's so cringy and i always say why and it's like i was doing these videos like about well, three years ago but it was because i don't know i just like makeup and i was like i'm gonna do my little thing whatever never to ever think that i was gonna share it with the families and if they saw it they saw it, but i wasn't gonna try to promote it or anything like that so my husband did it and i was like oh my god how embarrassing yeah so my family is watching it and everything so i think that's so sweet i think that's so cute um thank you guys and my i don't really have friends honestly <laughs> so but yeah thank you anybody who's watching my video it's embarrassing to me but whatever so today i'm gonna be doing a what is it called a story time this story time is gonna be about let's just start when i just got pregnant and it's so weird because I don't talk to no one about this. Like, I've never told anybody my story. I think I was just telling my husband the other day. And he didn't even know. I was like... And I low-key am scared. I was just talking to my tia. So, I gotta give her a shout-out. Tia Venorica. Because she actually is the one who actually got me into, like, doing my videos again. Because she was telling me about it. I was like, oh my god, tia. I haven't done those videos in years. And she was like, oh, you should do it again. And I was like, okay. No, I should. So she kind of pushed me to it. Well, she pushed me to it. So, but I was just talking to her and I was telling her how I should do like a video like this. And I told her I was scared. I don't know why. I'm 20. I'm going to be 25. I have four kids. I'm married. I don't live in my house. I have my own house. I don't live with my parents. But I'm scared of getting in trouble still. So, I don't know if that's just me, but yeah, I'm scared of getting in trouble. <laughs> but... It's embarrassing, and I don't suggest anyone to do what I did. I was a very naive little girl. Let's get that out there very soon in the video because, um, yeah, I honestly, I bet everybody can relate. We thought I lived a horrible life. I was like, oh my god, I'm so miserable. I want to run away. And this is like my prince charming and I'm gonna rescue me, whatever. Okay, so let's just say that first before I talked about anything else um so what was I gonna say yeah so to start off and I look so ugly I should start doing my face <laughs> but to start off I um let me fix my hair honestly I got pregnant when I was 16 years old I kind of should give you guys information about my husband though like okay me and my boy husband boyfriend back then i was 13 and he was 15 and um i fell completely in love with him i was a dumb naive little girl who said i was gonna marry him have his babies and that was my goal in life guys so wow but i mean it ended up happening so um but what else am i gonna say um yeah so he was the love of my life and still is but i got pregnant I ain't gonna get into details about that. That's embarrassing. I was a good girl though. I have to think about it, but I just fell in love. Naive love. But so I'm gonna start off and putting Elf on. I'm not gonna really tell you guys what you I'm just gonna do it. Um so I found out because I don't think I got my period and I was like feeling kinda sick. Oh my god. And I had a friend that was with me. And if you know who you are, she probably does. I don't know if she watches my videos. I don't know if I should say her name. Her name is Cynthia. And we used to get along in one class. I think it was math class. 
that explains why I'm not good at math. <laughs> no, just wait. But, um, yeah, we used to hit it off there, and I was in school, and it was ninth grade. And I hated school, guys. Oh, my God. But I remember being in the restroom, and I can't remember where I got the birth, the pregnancy test. I don't know. I'm so scared to get in trouble. What the heck? Okay, so I had a pregnancy test, and everybody was already in class. And she was with me. I say that I'm saying Anne a lot. So she was with me. We were in the bathroom, and I took it. I think we waited a little bit, and I was going to social studies class. I don't think she was in the same class as me. She was going to go to her class. And, sorry again. <laughs> I found out it showed pregnant. And I remember going into class and being so sick to my stomach and feeling so scared. Um, yeah, and, sorry again. I found out, I put it in my backpack. And, <laughs> so I have that in my backpack. Backpack, I don't I say it wrong all the time, please. Forgive me for me saying it's stupid. But I kept it inside my bag forever. No one knew nothing. Um, I think, I'm not sure I told my boyfriend, but he thought I was just playing around. And then um, I found out because I remember it was summer still. So it was summer. I don't know why. I kept it a secret forever. Did I even get sick then? I don't think I got sick. And then... We went to the doctor's appointment. Guys, this is the worst thing. I'm such a horrible daughter. I'm sorry, mom, if you're watching this because I can't imagine if my daughter did that to me. Um, So I knew I was pregnant. I was, was I, 15? I was 15 at the time because I didn't remember being 16 and I was already almost like, done because my son was born in July. And I'm thinking it was already October. Shoot, how many months was I? I don't know how many months I was. I might have been three months and I wasn't showing. I was really skinny, guys. I mean, I was bones. And um, we went into the doctor's office. And then, mm, did I tell them that I was extra? Oh, I think my mom, she had new. And she was disappointed in me. That's a whole other story. And I don't even want to talk about it because that's so sad. And I'm, I don't like talking about it. And... Ew, all my family's gonna be watching this. Oh my gosh. I know guys, I'm such a bad daughter, but um let me see, what was I gonna say? So we went in the office. She says like if I'm sexually active, she has me pee in a cup. I remember being scared because I was like, God please don't let her find out. <laughs> and my doctor, she's been the same doctor for years. Like she's seen me grow up. I was a little girl, she was my grandmother's doctor. And she knows like the whole family, everybody had her once in their lifetime or whatever. So she comes in and she was so freaking sad. She comes with looking really disappointed like if I was her daughter. And she comes and she's like, I'm gonna try to react. She's like, I am so sorry. Like she acted like someone died. Um, And she's like, she's pregnant. And she was like, she's a sweet, nice lady. And my mom was like, and she was pissed and i was like like obviously i knew but i was like scared and i had that pregnancy test in my backpack i don't know why i was scared to ditch it i'm so i would have i don't know i don't know what i was waiting for but that happened and i remember being so scared and then i was scared for my life like my relationship with my dad back then was really bad and I thought he was gonna kill me. <laughs> he was really gonna freaking kill me. And my mom was really scared, I remember. I feel so bad for even putting her in that situation. But cry, cause I'm a baby now. Um, yeah, and I remember her, the ride home was so quiet. Like, she, we didn't talk, it was just quiet, quiet. And then I go on the phone and she's like, call him. I think, this is how I remember it, cause it was like a long time ago. And I call him and I'm like, I'm pregnant. He thought I was playing around. He said, oh, okay. And then he, um, my mom gets on the phone and then he gets scared. <laughs> and oh my God, she was like, you better take care of my daughter, this and that. And oh my God, I literally had my heart fall to my stomach. 
and I still feel that right now, like even re remembering all the feeling. And yeah, and it was crazy. And that's how I found out. And then to tell my dad, we were going to church and she had to call the pastors over because she was scared <laughs> for me. Um, and I remember that day while I was really white, um, she had them come over and my dad was like in a good mood. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, this sucks. I don't think I'm gonna post this because I'm making myself feel really bad, which I should because I was such a bad daughter. I mean, I would never sneak out or nothing like that. I wasn't crazy. I never did like drink and do anything stupid and go places, but still, geez. Um, yeah, so I remember the pastors coming over because our family's always been into church and um they come in and my dad's in a good mood and he's like oh hey almost that and this that and pastors they look they know so they're like obviously disappointed <laughs> but um they go in and they're talking and then my dad he's like in a good mood sitting there whatever you know in my living room and they're like, after talking a little bit, they're like, pues hoy, like today we came because there's, we don't know what happens sometimes in life. Things happen that we don't know and we don't understand. And then he like, starts to change and he's like, oh, yeah, okay. And then he knows like something's up. I don't know, I could tell. And I'm sitting, oh. <laughs> I'm sitting all the way in the corner. Like my mom's there, the pastor's there, my dad's over here. And I'm like, scared guys oh my god i'm gonna cry <laughs> okay so then he's like pues tu hija, like her daughter um she's she's expecting a baby his eyes shot towards me <laughs> oh my god why am i gonna cry i'm such a baby and then i look and i'm like oh crap and then he like puts his head down and he just starts being, he's disappointed obviously. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to cut this out. <laughs> it sucks because I really hurt him. Even though like my relationship with my dad, it wasn't good. Wow, what a baby. Um, I remember that time it was really bad. And he, after finding out, he didn't kick my butt. <laughs> Which that's how our relationship was back then. But he didn't talk to me. Like he did me like that whole silent treatment. And he wouldn't look at me, he wouldn't talk to me. But I remember when I was like at sick in school, he would pick me up and he took me to get like a hamburger or something because I mean I was throwing up because I was pregnant. Wow, look at me. <laughs> My nose is already getting red. Oh my God, like where's the makeup at? Let me fix this. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't want it to mess up my makeup, but it's gonna go down anyways. Um, what? So yeah, so he did give me half my curious and I was like throwing off everywhere. And, I mean, he wasn't mean to me or mad at me. Well, uh, he's probably mad at me still, but he wasn't talking about it. But yeah, and that's how it went. And I was pregnant and going to school still. And, um. Yeah, but our relationship after that was like super awkward. And then, yeah, and I remember I was still living at my mom's house. And then after I had my son, I still lived with him for like three months. And then, oh my God, look at my tear. <laughs> Why am I crying? I did not think I would be crying saying this video. Hmm, this is so weird. Um, But yeah, it's because my relationship with my dad now is so good. Like, we still have our times where we yell at each other, but it's weird because you would never think that we would be so, we're close to this day. <laughs> so I think that's why I'm crying because it hurts me to know I hurt my dad, even though we didn't get along back then, but, but yeah, so that's how I found out I was pregnant and how my mom and dad knew and then from that, like, the family knew, obviously. Oh, we didn't keep it a secret. Hold on. So I was just 15 and... After I had my son, I stayed with them for three months. But they were, my mom would work and my dad, he wasn't gonna take care of the kid. 
my son. So then, oh my goodness. Um. So yeah, so then after a while, I moved in with my boyfriend and it was hard because our family, <laughs> because I was like American, Mexican and we didn't have the same, you know, traditions as they did and like the way of living the way we ate everything the way we talked like they just talk spanish we talked english half all the time so yeah so that's how it was and it was hard because i had to like literally go live with them and be like what to say i didn't go to school i had stopped going to school then and yeah so that is how i found out i was pregnant and everything oh how i found out and then how my parents found out so it was pretty sad now that I think about it. I remember that time and I remember I remember it being hard. And it was really something. I remember I couldn't even breastfeed because I was so stressed. I mean everything's so different. I had to live with my my suegros and yeah, I literally like dropped my whole lifestyle and then live with them and I didn't have any friends, I didn't talk to no one. I think I actually, I was just thinking about this, but I think I was even having like, you know, postpartum depression, which obviously I was a little girl, I didn't know nothing about. Like I've heard of it, but you know, you don't really know how it is. But I think I had it, but you know, obviously when they say it, when you go one visit and they're like, oh, do you have this? Do you have symptoms of this? And like not to be all dramatic and like for me, not letting anybody know my business, I was like, no, I'm fine. So, yeah, but it was a really hard transition. I mean, and then the day we we still, we made it through and I got pregnant again. So, <laughs> I don't know. It, it was something crazy. Yeah, so that's my story, how I found out I was pregnant. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys want more story times. It's really weird because I don't tell anybody any of my information. Like, I don't think anybody really knows the story of that. But, like, my mom and my sisters, I mean. But it was... <sighs> I'm just going to do a quick face and don't want to look dead today. <laughs> but it was my story. I'll probably do more story times. So... Yeah, that was my first one out when I was pregnant. If you guys like this story, which I kind of cried through it out. Weird, because I never said it out loud to myself. <laughs> so I think that's why I'm being such a baby. I'm just going to grow my lash mascara. I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of stuff to my face. I just don't want to look completely dead. Well, that's my story because I don't know. I have a whole bunch of stories that I keep to myself because I don't have friends. <laughs> and I don't really talk to my family. I to be honest, I don't call them, so that's my fault. But yeah, so yeah. Um, I am having. Ooh, I just messed that up. I am having a giveaway that I'm doing for my subscribers, even though I don't have a lot. But I think it's awesome that anybody's following me because these are my little tonterias that I do, and I think it's awesome that you guys support me and be posting everywhere. That means so much to me. I think that's the cutest thing ever. Because like I said, I wasn't trying to make this like something. Like, it was just my me time. But, yeah, thank you guys. I think it's awesome. And for whoever is, like, looking at my videos and subscribing, I think that's cool. So, I am doing that giveaway. If you guys want to enter, make sure. I'm going to be getting that stuff from the boxy charm, but I want to add, like, some cool items in there, too. I do have that Take Me Back to Brazil ballot, but I want to add some more stuff. Probably, like, two more items that are, like, nice. Um, so, yeah, you have to click the link from King... What is it called? I don't even know. It's a link. I'll post it down in the description box too. Um, you just got to go in there, um, put your email, and that's going to like put you into the contest. So when you they ran randomly pick, your information's there. Um, and then you just have to do the entries. I think there's how many entries? It's there. It'll tell you what you need to do. Make sure you do like do them though. And yeah, so you guys would be entered into my giveaway. Um, I hope you guys overall like this video, something different, but yeah, but I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.